When I was a little girl, I used to wonder, what kind of man will I marry? Being surrounded by so many strong women, they always taught me never to settle, to hold out for the best possible man like they did. So I made myself a list. My groom-to-be had to be handsome and strong and smart. And he had to love music and he had to love me. Check, 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 and check. <laughs> but there was one thing I forgot to put on that list. This is a biggie. The husband of my dreams also had to be good. He had to be kind and patient and fair and just good. And you, Chase, are a good man. You literally make the world a better place every single time you leave the house. And you make my world a better place every single time you come home. You keep people safe and right wrongs. And you do your best to prevent people from making bad decisions, no matter how stubborn they may be. I'm not going to mention any names, but it's me. <laughs> And even when those bad decisions sometimes happen, you show up with patience and forgiveness and always, always love. So I am so grateful I hit you over the head with that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an accident. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. <laughs> so I just hope that when I need it, you'll give me your forgiveness. And I promise I will always give you mine. But the promise I make to you today to love and to cherish you always, it's the easiest promise I ever made. Even easier to keep. By the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Son, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>